Oh my goodness, this music is hype! How's it going, guys? I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now. This is Lucian Sword. Play some more Brawlhall for you guys today. As always, it is my extreme honor to be bringing you Brawlhalla Battle Pass. Season 1. For the first time ever. Wow, just hearing that music just made emotions go through me. I've been playing this game for... Four years. And... Man, just seeing it come so far from what it was. Like this little indie beta or alpha game that literally nobody heard of. Hardly anybody gave a chance. They all said it was a Smash Bros clone. Look at how far it's come. Anyways, welcome guys. We're going to be exploring all that is new in the Brawlhalla Battle Pass now that it's actually out. It looks like the store is still here. So everything is basically the same except... Now, we have the Battle Pass, and it looks like all the new taunts that are in the Battle Pass are not in the store. So, first things first, let's explore the Battle Pass of what's all in here. Um, other YouTubers have already looked at all this stuff, but this is the first time I'm looking at it, so let's look at it together. We have the Petra skin that levels up as we progress. I'm not sure when it levels up, but we'll find out. Those are the weapons. I like how this is laid out pretty easy to see as well. We got the blue Oni sidekick. The Dark Heart Crystal and the Podium that levels up as well. Now, as you can see, the blue tier uh, is the free pass. And then the, the golden tier on the bottom is the paid version that costs $10. Every time you see one of these symbols, you basically get a random Soul Fire uh, color scheme for a random legend. And you also get Mammoth Coins in the paid version, which is pretty awesome. We got the Handstand Taunt, pretty cool. The Dragon's Fire Cannon up there, pretty cool. The Demon Gate loading frame, awesome. First loading frame that you can get that's not a ranked loading frame. We got the Dark Scarabs, Katars, pretty cool avatar. Death's Hour, we got Fire Oni Spirit avatar, looks pretty awesome. The Warm Up Taunt, man, pretty decent looking sword back there, I don't know, it's alright. Uh, more Mammoth Coins, the Yokai Spirit, that's pretty cool. Blue Oni Spirit, that's really nice. I like how most of these avatars are actually animated as well that really makes it pretty cool a lot of really cool anim uh, avatars then we have the netherworld artemis skin there's the uh, weapons very cool looking lance especially i like that some more colors the orb skin not bad not bad the axe is kind of meh i really like the push-up taunt that's that's really nice Ketsune sidekick not gonna lie it's the best sidekick in the game immediately Automatically, it's the best sidekick in the game right there. Can't wait to get that. Eye of the Dark Heart. It's all right. The spear is... It's all right. Not Nothing great. That's pretty cool. This is a great taunt. It even has a sound effect. Oh, beautiful. The hammer, kind of boring looking. Burning Rose. This one actually... I don't know. It looks like it could be better. The flames are so much that you can't even hardly see the rose. Tengu sidekick, awesome. I'll, that's actually a really good one. Ooh, look at that. Arc Fiend Zariel. Wow. Look at those weapons. Not bad at all, right? Wow. That's a good one. Uh, the, the Fiendish Howl Blasters, they're alright, they're alright. Ninja Shadow, it's animated, so that's cool. Ninja Sidekick, also cool. I love that they added a way more sidekicks and stuff to the game. And avatars, because you just see the same avatars and sidekicks all the time. Now there's actually variety. Ninja Flip. It's alright. This is probably one of the best things in the Battle Pass. The Hellfire Knockout Effect. Wow. Can't wait to get that. The uh, Eye of the Oni Gauntlets. Not bad, not bad. Curse Kunai. Alright. It's animated, I guess. This is literally the best skin in the Battle Pass other than the Hattori skin, in my opinion. Crimson Oni Jiro. Look at that. Imagine that in different colors. Even the weapons look amazing. This skin is 10 out of 10. Uh, da, 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 da. Snake's Charm, eh, it's alright. Jaws of the Oni, it's alright. 
this is probably the best uh, taunt in the battle pass, in my opinion. The uh, the Kung Fu Salute. I love it. And then, at level 84, you get the Soul Fire for every single legend in the game. And at level 85, Akuma no Kogo Hattori. Look at that skin. Look at that sword. Look at these weapons. Which, by the way, you can use these weapons on any legend that use sword and spear, which is a lot of legends. And that's it, guys. That's everything you can get in the battle pass. The free stuff is not nearly as much as the paid stuff. Look at that. You don't even get anything past level 46 on the free version. And look at, on the paid version, you're getting something every single level. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not being paid to say this, but this battle pass is ridiculous value. For the amount, for the price you pay, the $10, if you get all the way to tier 85 or what is it, 84? You're literally getting like $50 worth of skins, colors, taunts, avatars, mammoth coins, uh, everything. Everything. All right, enough talk. Let's look at the missions. So we have the weekly missions, which we don't see these yet. We only see week one missions. You only get three missions if you have the free version. Then you get an extra four missions if you have the premium battle pass. So, wow. Then there's general missions. There's so many missions now. And there's... There's actual regular daily missions. There's so many missions and quests in the game now, which basically means there's so much reason to be playing this game. As you can see, my friends list is just packed with people playing the game. All right, let's do it, guys. I'm not even worried about the, the, the missions because just by playing the game, we're going to uh, be completing missions. All right, let's do the, the Obake Petra. This is the new skin that I just unlocked in the battle pass, right? Actually, what else did I unlock? Oh yeah, the podium, the sidekick, the dark heart crystal. All right, let's just, you know what? Let's just do everything. Let's do everything. Uh, let's go. Where's the dark heart crystal? Let's do the uh, the blue oni. All right. Oh yeah, and the podium. Is that it? The tomb steli? Is that what it's called? No, no, no. That's not it. Oh, it's this one, the Spirit Temple. Oh, Spirit Temple, like from Zelda. All right, so I, I have everything equipped that we have unlocked so far. All right, now let's play some Petra. Let's look at Petra. She's got, it actually doesn't look that different from the base. Just a little bit spikier teeth. We'll quickly go through the colors here. Not amazing, but it is only the first level of the skin. Wow, guys. I'm so, I'm a little bit nervous. This is the first game I've played all day. I have not warmed up at all, but I'm also just so excited because it's the battle pass. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna see a lot of other people using battle pass skins and stuff. Oh, he's using the avatar as well. All right, here we go, boys. Three, two, one, first game with the new Petra skin. And look at that, I got the blue Oni sidekick as well. Oh no, that's his, we both do. Beautiful. Cleaned it up, man. He started off pretty strong, then we cleaned it up. Somebody commented on one of my videos the other day that they don't see me ever playing Lance or Orb. I'm like, are you kidding me? I play Orb and Lance all the time. Nice. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to see what happens after the match. Like, how is the uh, experience and stuff given out for the missions and whatnot? Woo! 
Ooh, I was just waiting for him to go over there and he went right into that sweet spot. Oh, Jinx. Sub, quit like swinging and go for the weapon. Oh, there you go. Dang. Never mind. Keep swinging. It's working out for you. Oh, what a gimp. Dang. My game actually lagged for a second. Kind of threw me off, but it was still a good game. Whoa. New, new epic conclusion music. Wow, it's almost like too much going on there. Alright, well, not a bad first game, but we could do better. That's honestly, I, I don't particularly like this skin, Obake Petra. So I'm actually gonna do something like let's let's actually do the uh, the quests. Let's see. Catch fresh items before they hit the ground, gauntlet legend wins, win match as Asgardian legends. That's new. These are legends that were born in Asgard. Alright. So, Thor? Alright, we're gonna do a match with Thor. I don't think, do you have to actually play the Petra skin to level it up, or do you just have to level up, like, the battle pass? That, that is a good question. I wonder if you have to actually play the Petra to level her up. Interesting. Because I didn't see the other, like, one. versions of that Petra skin later on in the battle pass. I didn't see them. So I bet you, you actually just have to play Petra to get them. I'm still getting a little bit of lag in my game. It could just be because the servers are overloaded because there's like so many people playing right now. Oh wow, I actually thought I would hit him there. just waiting for me to come at him which is fine I'm in the lead I mean I'd be playing a little bit defensively if I was him too all right there we go bonk got you on the head he tore me up that sock but I'm still in the lead. Nice counter. 
All right, final socks. Let's go. First win of the battle pass. Can I get it? Wow. Don't underestimate a Lacuna member, but GG dude, GG, well played. The ending music doesn't, it's good, but it doesn't flow in and out of very good. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got our first win. See, I wish it would show like the rewards I just unlocked. That's, that's, see, I'm already almost level two battle pass. And look, I completed this and it didn't even show it after the match. That they need to add into the game, I feel. All right, guys, I got time for one more quick game. Let's see. It said Spear Legends, right? So let's just do, uh, mm, let's do Hattori. Hey, let's do the Oni no Hattori. The original Oni like themed Hattori skin, right? People are going to think this a Battle Pass skin. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Going against the real one. The man himself. And he's playing as Becky Lynch, which is a uh, Nash. I actually really do like the Becky Lynch skin. Oh no. Got him. Woo, baby. Let's go. He poked his head over. Oh my goodness. GG dude, GG. Well played man. Oh, look at that. I did get a Battle Pass multiplayer. Whoa, I leveled up. All right, that was pretty cool. So I guess when you when you level up, it does show the Battle Pass stuff, but when you just complete a mission, it doesn't. Like, why doesn't it, why didn't it show win, win a match with an Asgardian Legend? Check mark, like after the match. That would have been nice. But at least when you tear up, you definitely know you teared up. So that's cool. So I got this new avatar and the battle points multiplayer plus 15%. So I'm gonna get even more battle points. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Battle Pass. We're gonna keep going all the way, baby, all the way. And uh, yeah, please drop a like if you did. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy guys, this is Lucian Sword. Listen to that epic music. <laughs>